Um, the first thing I want to do is just set the stage and say that you know everybody in football is really good at what they do, um, and in every team, and every place, every coach, and in the National Football like like everything else, is people know how to they know what to do and they know how to do it, but they have to find out for themselves why they do what they do, and when you find that out, tremendous things can happen. So when you when your heart uh, is involved with your mind. Um, something dramatic happens, and that's passion. That's passion that happens, and what's, what's now as a science is, this is not some psychological ploy to get you to play better. When your heart and your mind are working together passionately for a common cause, there's a biological reaction in your body, and it creates a passion and an edge that allows you to be the player that you are, and most importantly, uh, the person that you are. The locker room's not just not just players, it's everyone. It's not just players, it's everyone. It's your equipment guys, it's the support staff, it's the coaches, it's the, it's the guys, uh, the graduate assistants, everybody's involved in that locker room. The locker room is not just a player's domain. It belongs to everybody, it's where the family is. And the family, having the family be able to interrelate with one another is critically important. And I challenge anybody to watch the Hall of Fame inductions uh, for the rest of your careers, if you haven't already, and every every guy who's a, who's a inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, what do they talk about? The love they had in the locker room, the love for their teammates. They never talked about their stats or their wins or their trophies or their rings. All they talk about is the relationships that they had with each other and with their coaches. We are all interconnected. And so if I have a job with the Chicago Bears, my number one job, I feel, is to show the team every day how they, everything they do they, uh, is interconnected. And I always say is, what you do, we do. You are us and we are you. And you cannot separate yourself from a team. As soon as you begin to complain, as soon as you begin to do things that disconnect you from your team, you're not the, you're not the fighting Illini anymore. You're another fighting Illini, but you're not the fighting Illini in this room. And one guy's, one guy's, what one guy does on and off the field, in and out of this building, when you leave here, dramatically, dramatic. Coach Beckman will tell you, when you stand in those shoes, he will tell you there is a ripple effect. When one guy does his own thing, that's football. It, 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 that's how it works. On and off, in and out, at home, preparation, how you walk in this building, all affect winning for three hours some afternoon in October. So when we walk into our building, it's built on a foundation, you've heard it in this room, it's built on a foundation of two concepts, respect and humility, okay? In this game, you have got to respect each other. And that means the words you use, how you say it, how you act, affect everybody. <laughs> affect everybody, those words are critically important. And it's not just respect for the guys in this room, it's respect for the people on this campus. If you don't think your opponent is as good as you, what happens? Anybody? Somebody? You feel, how do you feel about them? You reduce them to less than you, correct? You reduce them, and when you do that, you lose your what when you play them? Your edge. You lose your edge, because if you don't think they're as good as you or they're different <coughs> than you, you're going to lose your edge, right? So one of the things we always talk to our guys, the guys in this room, in Columbus, in Minneapolis, they're the same guys as you. They want the same things as you, and so do the coaches. The coaches are good coaches. They want the same thing for their team. So when you understand that they are you, now you can put it into perspective. They're in it connected to you because they force you to be the best you can be. As soon as you demonize them, you make them lesser than you, you lose your edge, and you don't play the same way because you you, you're, you're not able to have the accountability to be as good as you can be. And then, one thing I always said, and I'm, I'm not sure I'm right, but I always said it, everybody loves football, football loves no one. Everybody loves football, and football loves no one. Think about it. If you lose your humility, and I'm going to talk about humility in a second, or you lose your respect for the game, or you show the game any <coughs> kind of disrespect, it could be walking into a meeting late, it could be uh, uh, feeling self-entitled, it could be complacency. When you disrespect the game, this game, it'll hurt you bad. When you think it's about you, I, I'm, I, I stand tall because I've, I've lived it. Um, when, you, when you think it's about you, the game will humble you. The game will take you to your knees. Humility, um, think about humility. We all got a sense of humility. Um, it, it seems like kind of a meek statement or a soft statement. 
but how I define humility with the guys is understanding that that those around us enable us to be what the best we can be, right? So without you, I can't become the best I can be. So what we try to do is to get you to want it more for him and them than you want it for yourself. Because if every man can want it more for each other than they want it for themselves, you got 99 and guys in here with a passionate emotional level to give you what you need to be the best you can be. And that's how it works in football. You only have a chance to be the best you can be if this guy gets his rest tonight and make sure he's at his best tomorrow at your spring game so you guys can elevate your football team. That's what matters. Now, in our locker room, everybody's welcome. In our locker room, we don't care where you're from. We don't care what your religion is. We don't care what part of the country you're from. We don't care what sexual orientation you are. If you want to come in and master your craft, and you want to cooperate, and you want to feel safe, you've come to a great locker room. Okay? So when your coaches say, do your what? They say, do your job, right? What they're saying is that the, the, the definition of doing your job is, except we're teaching you how to master this, this technique or fundamental, now do it. Okay, and if we, if we give you the tools to do it, you're going to be accountability, accountable to do it. And so we as coaches put pressure on you to be accountable, and we don't put pressure on you to be afraid. Fear is not where we're going. We have standards of performance in everything we do, and when you have adversity and you have success, standards keep you grounded. They keep you level-headed because you're doing all the right things, because when it goes bad, all of a sudden, the uh, training table, the food isn't quite as good, or this excuse or that excuse, it's not there, right? Okay. Don't get too familiar, because you'll lose your edge, and your passion won't be there. Be excited every day. Uh, to have arms and legs and great health to come out and do that. And we remind our guys, it may sound silly, but you got to remind guys of that at every level. Last Honoring the game means the game doesn't care. It doesn't care whether you were all conference last year. It doesn't care whether you're all American. It doesn't care what you did in high school. It doesn't care what you did yesterday. You have to honor this game every day. It's the greatest game ever created. And it, it brings men together from, it was, I was drawn to it because everybody was welcome. Everybody's welcome in football. It's the greatest game in the world. You can come from anywhere, any place, any upbringing, uh, any income strata, it doesn't matter. It welcomes everybody, but you've got to honor the game every day. What you do for others is going to resonate through time, through immortality. Whatever you give up that's positive, your teammate may use it to help somebody else along the way, to tell a story that's going to help somebody else grow and get better and make this a better place, not only here and now, but forever.